Lee Ik Yong is one of the prominent South Korean actors in his generation. He is well known for his remarkable role in Welcome to Waikiki, School 2013, and Go Back Couple. Many people already know him as an actor who has a rich father, but he is more than that. These are 10 things you should know about Lee Ik Yong. His early career. He made his acting debut in 2011. He first appeared in movies US Japanese Barbershop and Stitch Stitch. Meanwhile, his first drama was with MBC's drama Heartstrings as a minor. He first gained recognition from playing a rebellious student in the KBS 2's Teen Drama School 2013. He didn't just play the funny guy. Recently, people have known Lee Ik Yong for his funny roles in several dramas like Go Back Couple, Welcome to Waikiki, and his latest project Royal Secret Agent. But did you know that he can amaze you with whatever kind of role he plays? You can be amazed with him in romantic dramas, then enjoy watching him in romantic comedy dramas and get thrilled by him in his mystery and thriller shows. It cannot be denied that he as an actor is truly versatile. He plays a scary hitman on SBS's drama My Love from the Star, a chief detective on NBC's drama Partners for Justice, a young father who takes care of baby on movie Baby Beside Me, a student who harasses another student on movie Wretches, and many of his other amazing roles. He can sing and play instruments. He is a talented Korean entertainer. Aside from being an actor, he also sings well. On February 2020, he released his first trot song Leave Work on Time. He said, I finished recording within 40 minutes and practice after four rounds. So I still feel awkward and nervous even though it's my song. About attempting the trot genre, he revealed, my agency CEO first suggested that I release a trot song. I passed on it, thinking that it was a joke, but the CEO spoke seriously about it, so I took it on seriously. While the song features a bright and fun melody, the lyrics are a scathing criticism of Korea's office culture. In the song, he laments that he wants to leave work on time, that he hates being pressured into working overtime, and that the culture of having all-night dinner and drinking sessions with your bosses and colleagues is draining when you're expected to be at work on time the next morning. He can play two unconventional instruments, the djemb, which is an African goblet drum, and the kajan, a Peruvian percussion instrument. He is a real-life hero. At the press conference for Drama God of the Workplace in 2013, Joe Kwan revealed that Ik Yong saved his life. As his manager was taking something out of his car, the manager accidentally flipped a switch on the portable gas stove. He said, if it wasn't for actor Ik Yong, I would have been in big trouble. He fell asleep and Ik Yong woke him up. If he didn't call me, I would have been in big trouble. I didn't take a bit of the gas while I was asleep, but after being treated at the hospital, there are no major problems. On the early morning of March 19, 2020, it has been revealed that he helped rescue a civilian's life. A drunken individual attempted to throw himself in front of a moving truck. Fortunately, the truck was able to stop before hitting the individual, but the individual continued to walk towards the other moving vehicles. A witness shared, the truck driver got off and stopped the citizen, and Lee Ik Yong, who was driving the vehicle behind the truck, got out too. He aided the truck driver to hold back the drunk individual from causing more danger. He held tightly onto the drunken person for a long time and prevented him from jumping into the street and river. Everyone was flustered and scared, so they couldn't get out of their cars, but he got out of the car without hesitation. He also gave his coat to the drunken person who was shivering and held onto the person to make sure no more attempts were made. His courage saved someone's life. The police arrived after some time and took the individual to safety. On March 26, E's agency HB Entertainment responded to the reports, after checking with Ik Yong, he confirmed that the report is true. He said that he ran out of the car without thinking because it happened right in front of him. He says he only did what had to be done, so he didn't feel that a story had to be made out of it. He was waxed for real while filming Welcome to Waikiki. He starred on JTBC's drama Welcome to Waikiki as a wacky actor who does whatever he can to stay alive. In a special episode with JTBC, he said, I'm kind of hairy, I have a lot of facial hair too. It was a waxing scene, so I got waxed for real. The next scene was supposed to be shot in a swimming pool. I didn't know what I'd be wearing. So after waxing my legs, I couldn't decide how far I will go. In the end, I went all the way up. He dated his co-worker on drama Welcome to Waikiki. He was on the rise have become a public conversation after rumors circulated of his closeness with his Welcome to Waikiki co-worker, Jong and Son. Although not paired as lovers in the drama, it doesn't reduce closeness of the two. Both worked professionally and hid their relations from the public while filming the drama. Right after releasing of the last episode, both officially announced that they were dating. 
it was more of a surprise that they turned out to have been dating for a year, which means they became a couple long before the comedic drama Welcome to Wakiki started filming. Only two months after the dating announcement, they have ended the relationship. Both of their agencies, respectively, confirmed the actor's recent breakup. They reportedly separated on good terms due to their busier schedules and agreed to remain as colleagues who support each other. Awards. In 2015, he bagged his first Best New Actor award at Korea Film Actors Association Awards. Then, he achieved his second award as Rising Star at 13th Asia Model Awards in 2018. He dropped out of high school upon his father's recommendation. On April 8, 2019, JTBC's variety show Please Take Care of My Refrigerator, the actor opened up about dropping out of high school. He revealed he has been living alone since he was 18 and said, I quit high school at a young age and lived on a rooftop apartment. His father is well known as the CEO of a large company. Speaking about his father, he said, it's been a while since he retired. My father suggested that I drop out of school. I used to play sports, but I gave up because I got hurt. After my dream disappeared, I developed a mental illness. My dad said, just live doing what you want to do and signed my school withdrawal papers. Seeing him having a hard time, his father encouraged him to live the way he wants and allowed him to drop out. If you've ever watched JTBC's drama Welcome to Waikiki, then you'll feel that he was playing a character that is similar to his real life, trying hard to become a successful actor without any help from his rich father. He is friends with Jin of BTS. After completing his military service at the age of 23, he enrolled in an acting course. There, he first met and formed a friendship with Jin, a member of BTS, who was 18 at the time. The two separated after they were accepted at different schools and met again when they both attended the Mnet Asian Music Awards in 2018. He posted a photo with Jin on his Instagram account with the caption, After the award presentation, I felt so touched at the sight of your never-changing self, running backstage to see me. I'm going back after receiving good energy. Let's meet soon. He has a surprising connection to Red Velvet. He is a huge fan of Korean girl group Red Velvet. On the January 25, 2020 episode of TVN's Amazing Saturday, he featured as one of the guests. In the first round, MC told the cast and guests that the first song was by Red Velvet and talked about how the cast had previously succeeded in guessing Red Velvet songs. He then revealed that he has a connection to the girl group. He said, the apartment that I'm living in now used to be Red Velvet's dorm.